Today's second session of the Mountain West Men's Tennis Championships was more quarterfinal play. The homestanding Falcons of the Air Force Academy took on second-seeded Boise State, and Lance Wilhelm gave them a boost with a straight-set win over 30th-ranked and Conference Player of the Year Andrew Bettles, 6-3, 6-2 at number one singles. But the jubilation was short-lived as the Broncos took the doubles point, as well as singles wins by number two, Nathan Sarek, and also numbers five and six, Thomas Tenrero and Garrett Patton. The Broncos won it four to one. It was everything beautiful and scary and terrifying about a college tennis match. Uh, the Air Force Academy, un, uh, not unbelievable. I knew they were gonna do this. They're so well coached. They have a great story right now and uh, and they're playing at home and they understand these conditions. Basically, this is like, you know, if I had to wrestle an alligator, I, I, I get him in a desert, but I got him in a swamp today. And they're not, by that I mean is they're dangerous here. They're the dangerous team. And to be honest, I was thinking, oh my God, we play Air Force. This is the one team that knows these conditions and they're so well coached and they're, they're fighters. And uh, it, for us, this is, was good. In another quarter, UNLV and Nevada squared off, and things got interesting despite an early win by number one singles player Ace Matthias. A bit of rain made the final four singles matches move indoors, but Charlie Alvarado only needed one game to dispose of Fernando Sinego at number five, the final 7-5, 6-2. Then Tomas Batye finished things off with a 6-2, 6-4 win at number three. Was it weird going from outside to inside? Did that affect your team at all? It didn't seem to. It was. It's a huge factor. I mean, uh, Nevada Reno is an indoor team, altitude team. It's it's way quicker indoors. So it was a big, big adjustment. I mean, luckily we were ahead in in all, you know three of the matches, so we were able to close it out. But it was definitely nerve wracking coming inside. So is this a big boost now as you move forward in this event? I mean, it's just good to get through the first round. We've got a day off. Uh, we need to work on a couple of things, and then. You know, we get ready for Boise State. I mean, they beat us in the regular season, but, you know, the guys are pumped. They're ready to go, and we, we're going to come out and give it all we've got. The men's championship will take a day off tomorrow and resume on Saturday with the semifinals. UNLV will face Boise State, while New Mexico will take on top-seeded San Diego State. For the Mountain West Digital Network, I'm Brian German.